that closely. They didn't hold him in their hate. Despise me if I do not. Three great ones of this city. In personal suit to make me his lieutenant, off cap to him. And by the faith of man, I know my price. I am worth no worse a place. But he, as loving as his own pride and purposes, evades them with the bombast circumstance. I have already chose my officer. And what was he? Forsooth, a great arithmetician. One, Michael Cassio, a Florentine. But he, sir, had a theolection and I, of whom his eyes had been seen proof. At Rhodes, at Cyprus, and on other grounds, Christian and heathen, must he bleated and calmed his worship's ancient. By heaven, I would rather be his hangman. While there's no remedy, tis the curse of service. Perfumate goes by letter and affection. And not by old gradation, where each second stood here to the first. Now, sir, be judge yourself, whether I in any just term am a find to love the more. I would not follow him then. I follow him to serve my turn upon him. In following him, I follow but myself. It seems not meet nor wholesome to my place to be productive as, if I stay, I shall, against the moor, to lead their business in which regard. I hate the moor, and it is thought abroad that twixt my sheets he's done my office. Lame and impotent conclusion. Do not learn of him, Amelia, though he may be thy husband. How say you, Cassio? Is he not most profane and liberal counsellor? He speaks home, madam. You may relish him more in the soldier than you do the scholar. <laughs> he takes her by the palm. With as little as a web as this I will ensnare as great a fly as Cassio. If such tricks as these strips you out of your lieutenantry, it had been better. You had not kissed the, your three fingers so oft, which now again you are most apt to play this sermon. Like... Oh, you are well tuned now. But I'll set down the picks that make this music as honest as I am. Hmm? For heavens, they've given me a rouse already. To the helm of our general! Do not think, gentlemen, I am drunk. This is my ancient. This is my right hand. And this is my left hand. I am not drunk now. I can stand well enough. And I can speak well enough. How now, Rodrigo? After the lieutenant, go. Of mine. I'll tell you what you shall do. The general's wife is now the general. Confess yourself freely to her to put you in your place again. You advise me well. Good night, honest Yago. Be that 
thou assured, good Cassio, I will do all in my abilities in thy behalf. I will have my lord and you again as friendly as you were. Be merry, Cassio. Was thou not Cassio parted from my wife? My noble lord, I'll know their thoughts. Farewell the plume troops and the big wars that makes ambition virtue. Oh, farewell. The fellow's occupation is gone. I'm your own forever. Farewell. Save you, worthy generals. The Duke and Cylinders of Venice greet you. I'm very glad to see you, sir. Welcome to Cyprus. I thank you. How is Lieutenant Cassio? Live, sir. Fire and brimstone! <gasps> Are you wise? What? Is he angry? Maybe the letter moved him. For as I think they do command him home, deputing Cassio his government. <laughs>